Spiritual Plumber here again. I can talk to you guys about valves today. So if you go to the hardware store or if you go to the big box store, before you purchase it, you take a little bit of information and it'll help you out. So if you see value in this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe if it's the first time. So let's get started. Okay, first off, this is a straight valve. Okay, this is a straight. This one is a right angle. See if I can hold it like that a little better. Yeah, straight, right angle. Okay. <clears throat> so every valve that I show you will come in straight or angle. So no matter what I say on the thread wise or what's on the back of them, they do come in straight or angle. You just have to find out which one exactly you want. Okay. So this one again is right angle, quarter turn with a three eighths valve on top and it will hook for your supply lines to your toilet and for your faucet. And it'll screw right on top of here. The difference is, is the back of this is set up for half inch Sorry, excuse me. This one is a 3 8 A 3 8 nipple, which would be a brass nipple, or it could be chrome on the outside, but it's brass. 3 8 3 8 nipple. It'd be coming through the wall. The straight ones, or actually, would be coming through your cabinet. I'm sorry, coming up through the cabinet. And this one will be coming through the wall. So all your right angles is normally that come through your wall. Your straights will be coming up through the floor, up through your cabinet. This one here is three eighths made for threads. Your brass nipple, or it could be chrome over it, but brass. Quarter turn, and they're all made for your supply line. They will hook to your commode or for your faucet okay this one here is also a right angle valve quarter turn made for your supply lines toilet or a faucet the only difference is is this one is made for half inch so there could be a half inch copper metal adapter sticking through the wall or your floor if you get a straight one or it could also be a brass nipple that this would screw onto okay the other one was just for three eighths like i said this one is made for half inch nipple or a half inch copper and it comes up through your cabinets or through your floor screws to your supply line, pull it or vanity, lavatory. This one here is PEX, still quarter turn, and it will go on to your PEX. And you can get this in the right angle also. So you stick it down through your PEX, you crimp it on there, your supply line screws on, come through the floor or through your cabinet, floor, cabinet the you can get the pecs in the right angle i just don't have one with me next you have this one here and this is completely different it does not take the threads it is actually compression right it is compression and you can also get this one in a straight compression so once you take the nut off of the back of this, it has a ferrule and it's a little, it's a brass, it's a brass ring. It's a brass ring. So how you do that is you take your nut off of here and you put it over your copper. And then you take the brass ring, put it over it. And then you screw that on and then squeeze it down tight and that's compression. So it would actually compression on your copper. 
I brought this one out and this one is um, a lot different uh, on the on the supply line side of it okay it is a straight stop it is a quarter turn it is set up for half inch uh, nipple or copper the difference is is it is a half inch FIP on the top which is the old style rigid supply lines um, if you guys have been into an old old home you'll see these supply lines come up and they're bent uh, and they're not twisted up or, or have the braided they are hard and rigid and that goes inside of here and it's got compression nut for the supply line as well each one of these have the, the, they still come with them even your pecs they come with a nut and ferrule on top 90 percent of people don't even use that anymore uh, when i first started plumbing i worked for apprentice but that's all we would use is the rigid supply lines and i'm glad he taught me because i, I plumbed a house here um, last year and it was a really high quality home and they wanted all rigid supply lines that was visible they wanted them rigid they didn't want no braided stuff there so i was glad i learned how to do that and not scar them up and and, and how to bend them the right way because they actually have tubing benders that are just made for supply lines and it, it was really really good and high quality all right so that way if you guys go to the hardware store or you go to the big box store and you go to buy a valve you'll have a little bit of information to know to, to know which ones to get so don't forget if you see value in this video smash that thumbs up button 